Brought to you by Side by Side Scaffolding and Rigging the Boys for all your safe erections. This bout for the WKBF Australian Light Cruiserweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Please give it up for Mark Hammer Hammer. Another one of the Dwayne Glasgow trained boys from uh, the Bloodshed Muay Thai over at Victoria Point. Very well prepared as we look at Hammer. Mark Hammond, the winner of a recent round robin cruiserweight championship over there. He's got the he's got the mallet. <laughs> and have a look, he's got his game face on. And a terrific young guy. Look at that body, Wayne. He has done the work. He is prepared. This will be a terrific fight. Mate, looking at him from the look, you have, a, have a quick glance, you'd swear it was Nathan Briggs. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Absolutely. When you first look at him, a little bit of Drago, a little bit of Nathan <laughs> Briggs. 33 year old, he's uh, a terrific boy, terrific young guy from Wellington Point in the beachside suburb down in Cleveland. And uh, works in the family business, Hammond four wheel, four wheel drive tires and more. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Please put your hands together for Curtis Pegoro. As we watch Curtis from the corporate box with the preacher in his corner and uh, Shaggy as well, the team are here in strength and numbers. Very, very professional team down at Corporate Box and the boys are here to support Curtis Pegararo. This will be a very, very good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, bow number six on the card tonight. Proudly brought to you by Side by Side, scaffolding and rigging. This bout will be contested for the WKBF Australian Light Cruiserweight title. It will be over five, two minute rounds of full tie rules. 84.4 kilogram division. We're introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner with a fight record of nine fights, eight wins. He weighed 82.8 kilograms. Trained at the bloodshed Muay Thai from Victoria Point. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Mark Hammer. Hammer! Folks, I don't know if you can hear the, the this arena has just almost erupted. Mark Hammond is so popular, Wayne. He must have and 200 people here he because this place has Fighting really filled up now. In the red corner with an undefeated seven fight record. He weighed in at 83.4 kilograms. Trained in the corporate box in the Brisbane. Ladies and gentlemen. Curtis Pegoro! And of course an equal amount of uh, support there for per Curtis Pegararo as uh, oh, boys, referee Brad Hull calls the okay. boys in the centre ring really and gives them their instructions. Times, okay? When I say stop, it means this stop. Right? This fight is scheduled for five two-minute rounds. And right? full tie rules for the Australian Light Cruiserweight Championship. I'm going to protect you, okay? Touch gloves, let's go. I was at the venue at Redlands when Mark won the, the four-man tournament. Uh, he, yes. Very aggressive, loves loves the, um, coming forward, loves letting the hands, loves, fight. loves the elbows. Yeah, loves a fight and, uh, and a good sportsman at that. And uh, the boys touch him up for the first round and Mark Ooh. goes straight at Curtis Pegararo. Oh, he walked into a right hand. Curtis not phased by that. Missed with the right leg kick, the outside leg kick. But Mark Hammond not wasting any time going straight at his opponent. He doesn't like fights going to the points. He, he wants to get the knockout. Everyone loves, everyone loves loves knockouts, and he's the man that they come and do it tonight. He really is. Right hand, at, and he walks into an elbow there, uh, Mark Hammond. I think that's why the crowd love him so much, because there's never a dull moment when, once no. those bell, from the first bell to the last bell. If he can take it out of the judges' hands, that's his, uh, his main focus, isn't it? Yes. Our judges tonight. Paul Buxton, experienced judge, been around Ooh. for a long, long time. Ben Holly and Rex Redden, all experienced judges, and I know that they're going to do a good job. 
as Curtis, Curtis Pegararo in the blue shorts with the red trunks. And Mark Hammond, a little bit confusing in the red shorts with the blue trunks, with the blue, sh um, the blue shorts as referee Brad Hull breaks them up. Great to uh, see terrific amount of sponsors here tonight. Ma Ma Mark's very aggressive, but at the same time, his hands are very low and his chin's up very high. So if, if Curtis can pick his punches properly, there's a good chance he might land something here. But at the same time, he's got to try and ne negotiate the... He's got to weather that storm, doesn't he? Yeah. He, uh, he can't uh, get too cute while your opponent is very, very aggressive. You can't be equally as aggressive back because he's going to walk into something. Yes. So, uh, so uh, as uh, Mark grabs the front kick, right hand over the top. Not phased, Curtis, is he? Well, oh, he's walked into a big right hand yeah. there. Oh, 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 there's some blood too, I see. Someone's got a cut or a blood nose, maybe. Blood nose. Mark really starting to get on top of Curtis here above our commentary position here in the neutral corner as Brad Hull breaks him up. Just starting to get on top, Mark uh, Hammond. Oh, it was a good first round. Left nothing to the imagination. Young Curtis knows he's in a fight. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's not going to have to go and find Mark Hammond, is he? I think we'd have to go with Mark Hammond on that just simply yes. by, by pure aggression and punches and kicks landed. He took the fight right up to Curtis. Yes. He never let Curtis breathe. He never let Curtis really get time to set himself and, and go first, did he? It, it was a two-minute combo. <laughs> you need the match yes. and the skill will be able to do that. You can't just go out there blasting away. Yes, it's a big ask to, to try and maintain for five rounds. Absolutely. Oh, nice jab. Ooh. Yeah, great jab there by Curtis. But uh, Mark comes straight at him with outside leg kicks, and there's the payment in, in advance by, uh, by Mark Hammond. Outside leg kick again. Oh, nice knee. Nice knee, and oh, Ooh. the elbow. As Mark and scores dumps the dump. into the ground, <laughs> straight back into it. Mark Hammond in the red shorts with the blue boxing gloves and Curtis Pecoraro with the red gloves and the blue shorts from the corporate box gym. No Aaron Smith in the, in the corner tonight. We only see Shaggy and, of course, uh, mm. oh, it's a big right hand. That caught the attention of per Curtis Pecoraro. Will the zero go tonight? That's the big question. Mark Ooh. Hammond... Taking it right up to Curtis. Missed with the left knee. He's trying to set Curtis up a little bit. You can see he's trying to work him into a corner. Try it with, with the right hand and the right outside leg kick and then come in with the left knee. The inside leg kick we saw there. The elbows haven't really come into play yet, Wayne, have no. they? They've both missed their... Maybe it's a confidence thing. They haven't been able to get in close enough to effectively strike with the elbow. Mark's almost standing in front of him, trying to uh, entice him to come in, but uh, Curtis doesn't want really to, to, to step inside the pocket because he knows he's going to get caught. He is, and Mark's just outworking him at the moment, just yes. taking the fight away from him, taking the initiative away. There's the outside leg kick that missed, a good left jab good by, uh, by Mark. Curtis comes in and wears a jab straight to the chin. Misses Mark, there's a right hand. Look, you know, one punch can turn this whole fight around. As the boys lock up, as referee Brad Hull breaks them up again. Ooh, oh, nice. right hand again by Mark Hammond. As Curtis grabs the front Ooh. kick, misses with his own elbow, and another good round as the boys touch him up for the end of the second round. As the preacher and uh, and Shaggy both uh, both welcome the red corner back and sort of say, "Hey, now listen, we need to work smarter, not harder." If you're going to turn this around, and he's got a good mark under the right cheek of the right elbow, of the, looks like from an elbow or a blow there, Wayne uh, Curtis is. Yeah, Shaggy's working on it now, trying to stop so the claret coming down. Curtis Pegararo comes in with the elbows. The right missing elbow over the top. Oh, now, Superman. Hurt. Superman elbow. Yeah, really. Yeah, he hurt. Bam Bam with that. Uh, sorry, um, Mark Hammond with that one. Oh, again. 
I'd like to see Mark Hammond get his chin down a little bit. Yes. Oh, there's a little right uppercut by Mark Hammond. Mark's chin just sits up a little bit too high, doesn't it? Yes. It's a little bit like that Drago, like he's reaching out. There's no fluency in his punch with that chin. And if, if I was fighting my boy, I'd just say, come over the top with a left hook or come over the top with a right hand yes. and counter punch, punch and parry, you know, so... But he needs to get that chin down. He's got to have that chin on his chest a little bit. Yeah, it's a dangerous combination with the hands low as well. Yep. As he, he tends same, to reach a little bit with those blows too, doesn't he, Wayne? At the same time, with his work rate, he can get away with it because he doesn't give his, oppo uh, his opponent the opportunity to let go. Exactly. Yep, exactly. But, but at, at this early stage, he can do it. But eventually, down the road, another five, six, seven fights, when he starts getting up to the A-class boys, oh, yeah, he's, he's going to have a hard time. Yep. He's, you know, I mean, he's taken on the very best Queensland can offer and beaten them. Yes. But there is another level for him to come. And, you know, I believe that he's capable of going to that next level, but he really needs to get his game plan in action again. Yes. As a boy swap, knees and elbows and punches. A nice left hook there by Mark Hammond as he works the bread basket of uh, Curtis Pegararo. Curtis has started the round. He started the round fast, but he, he slows down mid round, and yes. then he, he lets he lets Mark start to dominate the and last take half. The round off him, yes. yes. And that you know we often see that in boxing where the one fighter steals the round, and uh, of course the judges are are, are, are going to say, oh, the the final part of that round was with this particular fighter or that particular fighter, and it's going to be dominant in their mind. But, uh, he really needs to start to put the medal down a little bit, Curtis. Oh, there's an elbow, an over-the-top elbow, and another one as well. What a war this has turned out to be. What a good round for the third round. The Australian light cruiserweight title. I think Curtis is too busy headhunting with the elbows. He's got to set him up with the punches first. Yes, and have his opponent going back to where he can work him into a corner to land the effective elbow. Yes. He's actually a little bit willy-nilly, isn't he? He's yeah. trying to be a little bit too aggressive and he's not setting himself up properly. Yeah, looking for that one one shot to win the fight. For all your insurance needs, why don't you call Mary on 0403 227 She's a proud sponsor of Ian Bronson as well this evening and has sponsored because, look, at the end of the day, these shows can't be brought to you without great sponsors like Mary, Gail Bronson at Blast Off Services, the boys at uh, Side by Side Scaffolding, Homestead Market Asset. As we're into... Round number three, round number four we're in. And, uh, oh, Mark Hammond's really starting to assert his ascendancy there. Ooh. Oh, he walked into an elbow. Oh, there. He's, cut he's cut him. He's cut him. Curtis has cut him with a right elbow right over the left eye of Mark Hammond. Now, will this take the blood has started to trickle down as well? But Mark sees the urgency and another elbow by Curtis. He can see the blood. The referee's having a good look at this cut. Is this a game changer, Wayne Parr? Ooh. Mark Hammond backs Curtis up. Curtis goes with a left hook and a right hand. And another crashing elbow to the right side of the skull. Oh, he Again. walks into another one. He's eating elbows yeah. at the moment. Oh, oh. He really has... Oh, Mark Hammond twists him around into his own corner as the boys lock up. And oh, look at that eye. The referee has called timeout. He's going to call the doctor in. He wants a towel just to have a closer look at this. Oh, is this going to call a termination to this fight? No, he's going to... He's going to let it go on. He's had a look. The cut's not, it's not that bad. Curtis goes with two left hooks. That was better placement. He missed with the elbow, but he set it up better. How cruel is this sport Ooh. when everything looks like it's just going your way? And as I said, one blow is going to turn the, change the tide of this fight, Wayne. But it's amazing to see Curtis not use the right hand whatsoever. He just sets up the right elbow. It's what crazy. What I'd be doing, I'd be throwing looping right hands. Oh, oh he missed with the... Oh, that was a knockout blow, that Ooh. was. You can see, look, you know, the shine has come off both these guys Ooh. now. Look at that eye, look that, that eye. left eye of uh, of the hammer. But he's fighting his absolute heart out. He just misses with a knee. Curtis Pegararo, another over the top right elbow. And there's the end of the fourth round. And boy, have we got a contest because Curtis Pegararo has really turned this fight around in this fourth round. As Dwayne Glasgow, let's see if we can get some vision of Wayne Mark Hammond. Let's just see how bad it is. But Dwayne Glasgow is going to work on it. A very, very astute trainer. Just look, and you see there's no panic in that corner. That's a good corner, Wayne. Yes. 
I don't, I don't think it's going to affect him too bad. It's not the biggest cut. It's just got to make sure that the, the, the blood doesn't leak into his eyes. Legal blow that, that caused the cut. So if the fight was stopped, then uh, Mark Hammond and the boys got great sportsmanship again as they embrace. Because Mark Hammond would lose his fight if the fight was stopped. As we go into, oh, there's a low blow. Just an accidental low blow. But uh, the boys touch gloves and uh, let's get on with it. Red shorts and blue gloves. Mark the Hammer Hammond against Curtis Pegararo from the corporate box Ooh. with the blue shorts and red gloves. And the boys grit their boy hard down on the mouth guard. The right hand follows the left Ooh. hook by uh, Big by Mark Curtis. Hammond. Straight back on his bike. He's straight back into the fray. The cut doesn't seem to affect him. He walks into a straight Ooh. left hand. Left hook off the cuff. I think he knows he can come home strong here, Mark Hammond. This is a close fight, Wayne. Uh, uh, Curtis is relying too much on that right elbow. He's not yes. letting the hands go. And what he's doing after Curtis delivers his blow is he's standing there admiring what he's done and he's walking into a punch as he just did there. But Mark Hammond has just worked oh, the line. His work yeah. ethic is absolutely tremendous. He's fighting well on the back move. He's fighting on the side. He's going forward, backwards. He's still throwing punches and kicks whichever way he's going. And Curtis misses with the overhand right elbow again. He misses with another tremendous right elbow there. As the boys lock up, they engage oh, in centre ring. That elbow had bad intentions written all over it. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't go into a fight with um, just one weapon. No, you can't. You, you, you need the whole bag. You need all eight. And really, that's been the difference in this fight. You yes. Know, like, uh, Mark Hammond has used his hands upstairs, downstairs. He's used his knees. He's used his legs. Curtis has been dominant with the elbows. Yes. But uh, just that one F, one weapon is not enough. And, and Mark has just really outworked him, if you like. Yeah. The boys it's have bloodshed. And Mark's, Mark's so big as well. You can't afford to, yes. to take a big rangey fighter and, and, and attack him with a short range uh, exactly. weapon. Exactly, exactly. He's, he's allowing him to, there's the end of the fight. And a really hard fought five rounds. And look, that there is no loser in this fight, let me tell you. The winner is the sport of Thai boxing. And it's great to see two perfectly trained athletes fight their heart out for five two minute rounds of full Thai rules for the Australian light cruiserweight title. And I think the guy in the blue corner, the hammer, Mark Hammond, I think he's done enough to get up and take the championship belt back to Wellington Point. After five sensational rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. They have come back with a majority decision. Wow. To the blue corner. He's won it. A majority decision to Mark Hammond. A majority decision means that two judges went for the blue corner, one judge went for the red. I, I felt, in all honesty, it would have been a unanimous decision, but take nothing away from Curtis. He fought his heart out. He deserves every pat on the bat, every accolade, and he suffered his first loss. He goes from 7-7 seven and seven to now 7-8-1 and eight and one as Mark Hammond enjoys the spoils of the victor the championship belt is around his waist and look at that crowd look at the support there's got to be maybe 50 people just on that side i think i can see his mum his dad i can see all his friends and it's great to see the preacher here as he comes and wishes us all the best and look at the euphoria the it's just an amazing experience for these guys and the euphoria, the emotion of the win, and look at that team. They are a team, they are a winning team, and they're a good team. They support each other. And if you can hear that crowd, that's tremendous. And we're gonna see a lot more of this young guy, Wayne. And as you said, you've really hit it on the head. You know, when he has the ability to step up, it's going to be a real challenge for this young guy to come to that, you know, that elite level. He's, oh, he's knocking on the door right now, isn't he, you know? And uh, let's have a listen to what he's got to say. Opened up that cut, got evened up real quickly. Um, mate, and a lot of support. Congratulations, you're the champ. Thanks very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you to my family. They go through so much for my training. My work colleagues, my friends, 
Most of all, my training partners, Bloodshed, we love it, we're a family. Bloodshed Hammer! One more, how do you celebrate tonight? I got next week off. I got a little holiday. Fantastic. All right.